Zaire and Dwayne Wade are true basketball legends. Their father-son relationship is something that everybody admires, and the way Dwayne supports his son is a sight to behold. Really, they are a team that every father and son should aspire to be. But did Dwayne manage to outdo himself with all that effort he put into making his son a great basketball player? And is Zaire Wade a better player than his father was at his age? Today we'll be discussing just that, and we'll take a look. Is Zaire Wade as good as Dwayne was at the age of 19? Let's dive into the video. Dwayne Wade Dwayne Tyrone Wade Jr. was born on January 17, 1982 in Chicago, Illinois. He loved playing since his childhood. However, he showed his true potential in college while attending college. He went to Marquette University in Wisconsin, where he played for the team. He was 19 at the time, just like Zaire is, and his potential didn't go unnoticed. And two years later, he was drafted by no other than the Miami Heat. This was the team that he stayed with for an extremely long period of time, from 2003 to 2016. He then played for the Chicago Bulls for a year and then the Cleveland Cavaliers for another year, after which he came back to Miami Heat for his final NBA season. He retired in 2019, as he believed that he had already reached his peak and that staying in the NBA would waste his and somebody else's time and potential. Private Life Dwayne had a pretty fast-paced life. He was drafted at the age of 21. He got married at the age of 20, got his first son the same year he got married and was, while all the ruckus was going on, heading straight for the top of the NBA. He married his high school girlfriend Siobhan Funches in 2002, and they had their first child Zane the same year. They later had another child, Zion, now Zaya. They split up in 2007, and in 2010 they officially divorced. A year later, Dwayne was granted custody to both of his children. In 2008, he started dating his current wife, Gabrielle Union. They split for a short time in 2013, and during that time, Dwayne had another child with A.J. Metoyer. In 2014, Dwayne and Gabrielle got back together, and in 2018, U. Wade became a father once again. In 2020, Zion came out as transgender and changed her name to Zaya. Dwayne wholeheartedly approved of this and supported his daughter the same way he supports his son Zaire about his life and professional choices. Zaire Wade Zaire blessing Dwayne Wade is, like we previously mentioned, Dwayne's eldest child. He was born on February 4, 2002 in Chicago, just like his father. All the stuff that happened between his father and his mother would have probably taken a toll on young Zaire, but thankfully his father was extremely supportive and he helped him glide throughout hard times. Zaire followed in his dad's footsteps, and he too is aiming to becoming the best of the best. For his freshman year of high school, Wade played basketball at Mount Carmel High School in Chicago, Illinois. Also on the team, nicknamed the Caravans, was his cousin Davon Morris. Both played on the school's freshman team. For Wade's next two years of high school, he played basketball at American Heritage School in Miami, Florida. On May 29, 2019, it was announced that Wade would transfer to Sierra Canyon School, a private K-12 school in Chatsworth, Los Angeles for his 2019-2020 senior year in high school. After high school, he transferred him to Monteverde Academy in Wolfboro, New Hampshire. Making basketball his focus and availing of Brewster's nationally prominent program, Wade garnered considerably more attention from college basketball coaches. According to 247 Sports, Zaire Wade's stats are pretty impressive. Zaire is a three-star player, ranked number 197 in the country and number 32 among point guards, as per the 247 composite rankings. He picked up his first Division I offer in August of 2018 from the University of Nebraska and has since received scholarships from Toledo, Rhode Island, and DePaul. Additionally, the celebrity kit was recently offered a scholarship by the University of South Carolina. Zaire Wade has shown much potential in his basketball career. Being the son of one of the Miami Heat's greats sure comes with the pressure to perform. However, given that he learns from one of the best, it is logical to say that he has a promising career ahead of him. Zaire Wade vs. Dwayne Wade 1v1 As I already said, Dwayne is Zaire's backbone. He is one of the main reasons for Zaire's choice of profession. However, being a good dad means that he has to school his child harshly sometimes. Thankfully, Zaire understands that and doesn't have a problem with it. In fact, a 1v1 match between the two perfectly encapsulates their healthy father-son relationship. 
Dwayne used his size advantage, hosting up his child, getting easy buckets, while his kid frantically works harder and harder until slowly coming to the realization that this game, much like life, is unfair. Yelling ensues, etc. I mean, if this isn't deja vu for everybody watching this, I don't know what is. Every dad ever does this, and it's fun seeing such a thing as a spectator. Except for the fact that in this version of the one-on-one -on -one game, unlike our fathers and us and our childhood memories, one of the players here is a top 20 NBA player of all time, while the other is a highly touted D1 prospect. The trash talk at the end is truly the best part. Zaire yelling at his dad may be a top 3 shooting guard in the history of NBA that he should try and do jump shots and see what happens. Is so perfect it warms me. He told Dwayne Wade to see what happens. I absolutely love it. Why is Zaire Wade not playing? People say that an apple does not fall far from the tree, which is well evidenced in the Wade family. The firstborn son of former National Basketball Association player Dwayne Wade is slowly becoming a force to be reckoned with. However, for a while now, he has not been very active on the court as expected, since he has finished his high school studies. The question in people's minds has been why is Zaire Wade not playing? When Zaire went to Sierra Canyon High School, he did so much with many expectations besides his family name, according to USA Today. He was ranked in the top 150 of the 2020 class nationwide, and with that came expectations that he would be a focal point of the team's success. When LeBron James also sent his eldest son, Bronny, to the same school, rumblings of a youthful version of their father's Miami Heat day swept the nation. However, when Zaire underwhelmed his coaches and ended up rotting at the end of the bench for what was supposed to be his senior year, perhaps the pressure of being one of the country's greatest prospects combined with the name on the back of his jersey proved to be too much for young Zaire. Things did not go as expected. Bronny James also spent much of the season on the bench but was part of a younger class. However, Zaire either had to test the college waters after a frustrating final year or reclassify and try again next year. He chose the latter in hopes that his new school will get him to the ultimate goal. Zaire is going to a place that, like Sierra Canyon, has an incredible roster of talent behind it. At Brewster Academy in Wolfboro, New Hampshire, Zaire will follow in the footsteps of TJ Warren, Donovan Mitchell, Devotee Graham, and Jalene Leck. With his extra year of eligibility after reclassifying, he hopes that a smaller school and a smaller market will help him get the play he promised when he was a top prospect. However, the fact remains that Zaire is following in a tradition of several children of famous athletes who had to live up to their parents' expectations. And those expectations can be too much, depending on the kid. Zaire Wade has a great career ahead of him. He is persistent and vigilant when he starts playing. And the 247 Sports Report said that he has excellent eyesight. His fans cannot wait to see him back on the court making shots. And as the year is still not far gone, there might be some surprises. I can say that his pops will be absolutely proud of him, and I believe that Dwayne is and will remain proud of his son forever. He is a great player in the making and will probably go straight to the top. And that sums up this video. What do you think? Will Zaire be as good as his father or will he be even better than Dwayne ever was? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell for further updates. Until next time.